have released the dog. I blow a Rick the camera, do a 100% camera, bro. Yo. No one else will go hard, I will do a fucking damage. Yo. Can't maintain, contain my flow. I need to play a game for sure. Maybe RTS or RPG or maybe even MMM. Howdy, howdy, and welcome back to another Lucid Adventure Idle RPG video. Now, I need you to hit that like and subscribe buttons because I post content daily. Just not on the weekends. Because I be wanting to relax, man. Y'all be tripping, be wanting content and stuff. Like, I just, like I'm a robot or something. But, anyway. Alright, so we back on some of this subjugation-ish. Ready to give these bosses these hands. Ready to do it. We're going to hit this watch, man. <clears throat> I, I, I was thinking that I was going to do just some test runs because I know in the last video I had hit Primitive Demon and all my test runs proved successful as soon as I went in and did it. Like, my team dirt. But, you know what? Fuck that. We about to go in and put these hands on this watch, man. That's how we about to do it, man. We about to get it in right now and show y'all what a time it is. Because I've been doing some tests. I had some really, really good tests that I can nearly kill him in one go. Because we've been powering up our teams. We've been grinding out getting these karma weapons. Man, I was at zero gems. That's how serious it was. I had to get it in. I had to grind. I had to change the game, level up, and come back. But... With the team, you know, it's all our basic team set up. Pretty much our best characters for the most part. And the ones with all the good subjugation stuff that we need. Of course, we got our girl Sora here so she can buff us up. But you got to remember, though, we bring in our mans that drip because we got that drip. And, you know, when you got that drip, you, you just keep out here like that. You out here like that. So since we got that drip, you know, he got to be the one that's going to be doing the most DPS because he the one that we have a prize transcended for. For. And once you get those transcendent prizes, damage goes through the roof. Make sure you, you know, you got something that's gonna give you more damage. Because if you ain't got nothing that's gonna give you more damage, then damage not going through the roof. But damage is through the roof, and because of that, we want him in our front line, mostly because he's gonna die. That's just plain and simple. Like his 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 invasion and defenses don't scale well, so he just vulnerable to like getting like body. And, and this boss got them hands, like literally, he using them hands. He got he go fist with you, he, he, he go fist with you, like he ain't playing. He got them hands, so you got to give him them hands before he give you them hands. And we just have Tempest for cleanup because you know that's what Tempest do because he's the best fucking character in this game, like hands down, he's the best character in this game. And subjugation is like the most important thing to get you everything. So yeah, Tempest people. Oh, uh, all right. So let's get into this fight. Alright, so we on in here. You know, he's gonna start punching and stuff, pushing us back. I missed my time in there, but it's good. We're gonna do a little bit of damage. Sora should be getting some buffs up, or if she didn't do it already. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do it again. I might be able to get a third skill off, but if not, <clears throat> that's cool. We just gonna go. Yep, he did. So now we go ahead, we're gonna pop one of the little swordsman skills real quick. Cause we want him to live a little bit and do a little extra damage while Tempest in the background doing his thing. Alright, swordsman down. Now we're just gonna have Tempest go ahead and get it in. This is definitely not the way I did in the practice. And this is probably why I be getting body when I be trying to do this on video. It's because I don't do it the same way I do it in practice. But we're gonna go ahead, spam our skills, get as much damage as we can get off as possible right now. All right, we're gonna wait for this next one till he get close, and then we're gonna do it. All right, he kind of close. I'm kind of scared there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spam it. He wasn't even close enough, but he about to punch us. We might move. We might move. Can we get up? Oh, 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 what is it? Nope, nope. He trying to get close, but but we got him under 50% of his health. So that's looking good right there. That means once we do our second fight, we should be straight. And we've been living long enough to the point to where we're going to make it to time. So that's a good thing, though. So we're getting that good damage off. So we're about to knock him out, though. He's about, he about to be on his back soon enough. All right. So, you know, we did some decent DPS there. Oz got made it to the end. So, of course, she did the most damage there, though. But it's generally whoever lives the longest is the one that's doing the most DPS. And for the most part. If it's Swordsman that lived the longest, then maybe not so much. Still working on my Swordsman. He, he got a little work, but a little work that he, that he need. But we getting there. We getting there. All right. So, let's knock this boss off real quick. <clears throat> 
So we're going to go on back in here and do it again. Give this boss these hands because he don't want it. Okay, skills up, skills up. Oh, snap. See, I got punched. See, messing around, talking all that mess. All right, we got everything buff. Boss is not about to live long. Oh, drip went down, down. All right, we're just about to spam temp Tempest skill. And that should be it. Boss not about to make it because Tempest is about to get in that ass like a dirty thong, man. We, like, that's just how it is. We don't play. Boss out of here. Three times speed. Feel these hands. Every bit of it. We don't play. We doing the game. We doing the fool. And that's how it is when we do this subjugation. <laughs> we don't play with this. We just do our thing. All right. So I did make some upgrades since the last time I was, like, messing around. I had I think I, I got this to plus two. This wasn't plus two before. So our dark is putting out a little bit more of that DPS. And I was trying to work on some of his weapons. I don't think I got anything because I never pulled another one of these. I just been pulling these. And you know how it is when you making blessed karma weapons. Did I make any improvements on Sora? I think she was plus three, but she had plus four now. I think from the last one. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember off the top of my head. But I know she didn't really get that much of any real improvement. I don't think I did anything to her because I've been focusing hardcore on Tempest getting him together. Because I wish I would have. I wish I would have trans his prize though and get that extra attack and uh, and crit damage for the team or what else in that suit. I mean, his other one is a subjugation one, but obviously I don't have it. I mean, I do own the alternate account, which is silly, but the main, I just didn't get lucky enough to pull it. But I definitely would trans this prize. Like, like this is definitely going to be like the next one on my list of things. They're just going to give me that general boost because crit damage scales a little higher in the later game stuff. People are starting to talk about it, and I've been trying to keep it a secret. I've been trying to keep it a secret from everybody because I was already building that shit with uh, Tempest and Swordsman, like low-key, but but uh, people are finding out the secrets and are spreading them, so I might as well just, you know, let, since the whistle has been blown, I might as well just go ahead and follow suit and just say that now, that, yeah, having that crit damage build is really strong. You still want attack and everything, but having crit rate and crit damage for your DPS is going to scale you higher. Um, I did transcend this because I wanted to transcend one of his weapons. I mean, it's helping me as further as the other parts of progression going, which is a good thing. But uh, if I could, this would be the one that I would transcend because it just makes Tempest that much stronger. But we've been working at Tempest trying to get him a little bit better as well. It's, it's getting hard because the, it's like power up stones. I mean, the cost to power up stuff is really high. And... It's ridiculous. I am going to take this up, and I meant to take this up a peg before I had even started the fight. So, rip to that, but that's okay. We ain't worried about it. We, 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 we'll chill on that. Um, as far as this as far as this drip go, I don't think I made any big changes. I tried to get some stuff going, but I don't think nothing significant happened to, like, his weapons or anything. I know... We're getting close. This next interval on this is going to be really good. He's going to be extremely strong once we uh, use some more karma. Like, we all out of karma for today. But uh, tomorrow I might invest back into Drip some more. I know I've just been doing a lot of investment into Tempest because I know Tempest live longer. Pretty much to the end of the fights for the most part for me to be able to do damage. And that's on, like, just about all the bosses where he, uh, at least for the Primitive Demon and Watchmen, he uh, generally lasts the longest. And I know for sure we've been like going hard into pool. Like, like extremely, like so hard into pool. Like, look at this. This is like my highest level thing. And look at how much it costs to level it up. That stuff ridiculous. It's expensive. And I was like, I was leveled up because this is just going to help me in my general progression and for everything. But at the same time, I get this extra subjugation HP. So we're just not being bodied super easily. And the same with this one. I've been leveled this up because it just gives us that extra subjugation team attack. That's just going to help us out. And we haven't, I think we just got one. I know I upgraded it since the last time, but then since that upgrade, I only got one. So I haven't been able to get this to get that extra bit of HP. Because I'm hearing like, yo, that's a lot of HP to be able to have for the team. And then the team crit damage, that's going to be deep, really good for our DPS. Like, we really want those kind of things. And then for our, 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 for our other progression, we got the monster weakening on the collection effect. So that'll be a really good one to look towards and everything. But I don't think I worked on anything else. I mean, I would like to get more release. Release? Can I? 
can I get that for swordsman but it's so hard to pull it I get these like a dime a dozen but release never shows up and I'll probably pull like some of his blessed karmas before I get a release I think it's like the best karma weapons you, you just don't get the good stuff for at least for me that's just what it seems like um haven't touched Oz God in a while because I, I remember I was going hard for her big big regrets there like PvP is a joke, and why was I trying to go hard for PvP? I guess it's when I, when I first started seeing myself winning, and I was like, oh my god, I can win. Then I went to that next bracket, and I was just like, oh my god, everybody got karma weapons here. And then when I realized the power of trans prizes because my dude Afterman, and I was just like, oh my god, like, it sucked. And then this is like, I mean, team invasion is good though, but it's it's it's, it's an active, it's auto. So I mean, it's I mean, it's an equipped effect. So that's just. And then this medicine sucks. Medicine sucks, and drinker has just been better for me in like in my usage. You would think just because it gives that extra team crit damage that it would just scale so much more, but the attack just scales so much better, at least in my testing. Like, testing these side by side at, at the level they are, my team just gets so much more damage with the extra attack versus just this crit damage, and then Oz got doing a little bit more attack, even though it, for whatever reasons, she do more attack with the extra attack rather than the sub, subjugation attack. I don't know why that is, but... Uh, maybe 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 it's just something in the scaling that I, that um, I'm just noticing or what else what not and then she's not really the unit that's built for crit damage she don't really crit and you're not building her for crit so like or just her having extra crit damage is kind of useless um, but that's the big things there nothing changed with lime or anything like that for the most part I think she's still the same because we got so many physical characters and then attempting to get hers i think you know what come to think of it i wanted to get more in line because if i can pull this one this gives more passive hp to line because with her dragon hunter her attack scales off of her hp so i will inherently get more damage off of her having more hp so getting this uh twinkling star is actually going to be beneficial in the long run for dragon hunter to dish out more damage for line so yeah that's something that I was looking at and I was thinking about when I was uh, just going over my units and what they do and how they skills and how they scale and all of that stuff. But that's pretty much it for this little run of subjugation. I guess whenever we come back or whoever we attack, we'll talk more about our progression and what we did then or what else, what not. But I hope you have enjoyed. And if you do, make sure you smash that like button. If you don't, there's definitely a button for you out there too. Yeah, because you're still watching. I know you are. Join and our Discord because, you know, we cool, nice little community. We talk shit, have fun and everything. Pick on each other because we, we got, got to. Got to. You know, but, you know, that's just how it is. Make sure you all subscribe. Turn those post notifications on so you can be the first to see my content when it goes live. Yeah. And this is your host, GamerDude2088. And I will see you next time. And I'm out. A deuces. I'm changing the way I say that at the end every time, ain't I? Um, if y'all like that, you know, that's cool. If you don't.